So we're going to palpate the facet joint between C2 and C3. So you'd first find C2 spine and come across to C2, 3. Rotating to the right, the C2 will move posteriorly on C3 as you rotate to the right. And anteriorly on C3 as you rotate to the left. So now palpating C2, coming across to the C2 three facet joint, being careful not to go on to the transverse process which tends to be a bit far forward so coming backwards onto the facet joint moving the trapezius muscle out of the way and now rotating to the right you'll feel that C2 move posteriorly into your finger. In so doing that facet joint on the right will be distracting Moving down a level, so we're now on C3, 4. And again, feeling now C3 moving posteriorly on C4. We're now C4, 5. And you can see that the head is being moved into a more flexed position as we move down the cervical spine to allow the axis of movement of rotation to occur more naturally. Again, lifting the head up into more flexion and then rotating, feeling the upper vertebra move backwards posteriorly on the lower part of the facet joint. Whilst we're rotating to the right, the intervertebral foramen will close on the right and open on the left. Again, generating the force so that you've got nice, soft hands, making sure you're taking the weight of the head on your torso. Nice and slowly. so that the patient's tissue tone remains calm. Only a few degrees of rotation at each level. And you can see the head position now is in more flexion than the start position and the weight of the head is being held on the torso.